Today's episode features 11 guests who are professional cartoonists. When I talked with them at the recent Charles M. Schultz Museum Sketchathon, I learned how they were able to break through and become published artists. My humor style actually is, um, it's about um, unusual uh, or surreal things happening to real people. That's more or less where I go with it. So I didn't read comics until I was much older, but maybe like when I was around 20, 21. I went to my first comic book convention, um, and I just completely fell in love with the medium. Astro City is pretty well distributed through the comic book uh, retailer market, uh, comic book stores. Um, we're trying, I'm trying to keep it into like bookstores, um, but the sell through seems to be in comics. So I did a uh, comic strip called Plato's Republic for many years, and uh, tried to get that syndicated. I had a had a good run in college, and, and so I, I was, had delusions of grandeur. And I took that to the, to the real world, and I published it online for many years. I got back a ton of rejection letters. The ones I'm best known for are Long Tail Kitty. And uh, I make handmade books, versions of those. I actually do hand printing. I have a studio no, with silk screening I'm, I'm shops and that. such. So I'll make small print runs, maybe 500 at a time. In my mid-40s, I had an opportunity to, uh, to uh, try again. I, I did a project called Mom's Cancer, which uh, is a true story of my mother's diagnosis and treatment for lung cancer. And when I decided I wanted to tell this story of my mother and my family, um, comics seemed the right way to do it. I went back to go really work on the art on my comic strip because I really wasn't happy where it was. So I went back uh, about four years ago to the Academy of Art University in San Francisco. Um, they have a, a handful of classes that really help out with um, what I needed for my comic strip. When I was younger, I used to love comics, um, and we used to buy comics all the time. And around um, high school, I think I it kind of felt like maybe it was uncool. Didn't want to read comics anymore, and started doing like paintings. I worked at Lucas Arts for for ten years, and then moved three years ago to a company called Image Movers Digital in Novato. And through there, we worked on three films for Disney. The first movie to release was A Christmas Carol. I launched my first uh, website. I did an online comic strip called uh, Narbonic. It was a daily comic. And it ran for six years. And uh, once that was over, um, I started a new one. I actually took a year sabbatical, and then I came back and did, I'm doing a strip called Skin Horse right now. Oliver Coffee is something that nobody knows what to call. I've been doing it for over seven years, and, and still, I trip up on it, my wife trips up on it, editors, everybody I encounter, they say it's a kind of a comic strip. 